Ladies and gentlemen, we will be shortly commencing our descent into Honolulu. The temperature on the ground is 77 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies and 55% humidity. The water temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit. We ask you to please fasten your seat belt, fold away your tray table, and return your seat to its upright position. Flight attendants, prepare for landing, please. The caged bird in my abode hums the hymn of the warrior I say from the secluded outskirts of my kingdom. A hymn of tranquility that ensured me of his loyalty, his form of gratitude for the services I've given thee. Having kept in the guidance of our stronghold, we've honed his body and mind as he graced us with his heart's innocent purity. The uneasiness of my own thoughts has gotten me worried whether or not he would serve as my shield that would protect the family or the sword that pieces through our souls. Before that could even happen, I had to make sure that he would engrave the words that kept us at peace in his heart, serving as a principle for his life that would shield him from corruption. Giving my full attention to this outcast, I've thought at the back of my head that my leech would create the first crack against our glass protection. Whether the outcast would strike first or be it my leech who would, the attack alone would befall us all. If there were no way to stop it from happening, I have prepared preparations to keep the words alive. Welcome home, Jo- Uh, Seth? Oh, sorry, Minami. Whew. Me no so good, man. We want some milk? Um, alright. Ah, thanks. So, how did the race go? <sighs> between you and Adriana? Total defeat, I had. My speed wasn't enough to keep up to her son. Say... Antoine, Kaide, and Ryan, you know where you go? Oh, they went to the lighthouse at the northwestern side of the island. Kaide wants to see it with Ryan, so Anthony took them there. Hmm. But more importantly, you're not disappointed to the fact you lost, are you? Me? Disappointed? Ha! <laughs> not even if Bo Marley comes and takes me with him. Uh, um... That's kind of like taboo to say such, don't you think? There is just a... Uh, I'm afraid for Adriana and those around her. Afraid? I and and I, we can see it. If she goes on with this, her disorder would get worse. Who knows what could happen next? Is there some way to stop them from doing this dangerous race? I don't think there's anything we can do, ma. Adriana be far more this. I tried talking her out of it. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Say, Minami, you're worried about him, no? M me? Now why on earth would you ask me if I'm worried about T Tomo if Kasumi is there to keep him company? <laughs> now that's the first time me see you react that way over a guy. It it's not like I like him or anything. If that not be called love or rather friendship, then love and friendship are almost one and the same, yeah. <laughs> you be going to him, son. If you want him to be safe as his friend, best you go. I be taking care of stuff here at home, ah yeah? Um, okay. So, 
this be the fruits of you, huh? I, I feel old. Hey, uh, thanks for the lift, Ryu. Anytime, Tomo. I guess you uh, won't be waking up anytime soon. Thank <laughs> you. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone all out then. No, he ain't not used to witnessing high speed drifts up close. <laughs> He'll get used to it eventually, I have a feeling. Take care, man. We'll drop by when the team's not busy. Yeah. Okay, take care. Oh, I'm. If you were wondering who Super was that, that entered, it happened to be he is. So don't get the wrong idea of me bringing a total stranger to the house, okay? Stop this race. <laughs> I don't want to see her suffer again as before. This is too skeptical of me, but chances are her racing you would trigger the worst in her disorder. I mean, what would you rather see? Adriana experiencing minor suffering from her so-called disorder day after day? Or do you want it to disappear for good? What? Adrian and I feel that this is the only way to have most of our questions answered and our worries done for. Her. If she was here with us, I think she'd say the same thing. Is this why you tell it to me and not her? <sighs> Adriana's been suffering. That at least, I know you've noticed. But this is too much for her. I'd rather see her happy than... this. If she feels that this would in any way help her, why are you against it? Or do you fear that she's incapable of finishing this? Just let her be for once. Nothing bad's going to happen. I hope you're right about that, Tomo. I hope you are. Hello? Kasumi, can you come to my room for a sec? Adriana? What's wrong? I'll explain everything there. Just come. I'm in my room. Adriana? Adriana? What's wrong? I'm in the mood for some listening. Would it be alright? Um... Okay. But... Wh why me? Never mind that. Let's read something together, shall we? The Bible teach book, huh? Did Tomo leave that there? So I have to be sure that if I get this and we return it on time, we can get it- Oh, hang on a moment. Oh, Akama! You're here! What's the status of the negotiation? Well, everything is going well. I talked it out with the owner and he says we can use it, provided we can return it on time. We can also ask for extensions and- That's good to know. You know what to do with it once it gets to the garage. Uh, okay. I'll see you and the rest on the track tonight. Tonight? It's all right. I talked it out with the crew there as well. It's fine. We have the passes. I hope the reward for this is enough to cover up this deficit. I most certainly know it will. So stop fidgeting about it. Just focus on winning and make thy father proud. All we need now is absolute victory. Nothing more but what the father wishes. Is our primary ambition. I sure hope Tomo's okay. Lucky for the two of them, they're not experiencing this. This coldness is just aggravating. The best 
majority of mankind, however, have the prospect of being resurrected in the future to life in paradise on earth. Yes, Jehovah really will defeat our enemy death, and it will be gone forever. You know, it's strange. Hmm? When our family used to go out together every weekend, we barely hear such sermons from our pastor. I'm quite surprised that busy people like you, who have a multi-million company with the racing industry, even have time for things like this. <laughs> well, we get the chance during the lowest peaks of the league. We even had a one-month hiatus from the tournaments just to have some family bonding, even during my younger years. I've always been afraid of someone else's death as much as my own. Thinking that they're going to heaven and never coming back for us. When the pastor used to say that when someone I love dies, it's because it's God's will. His words were something I didn't like. If it is God's will to take the ones I love away from me, why do I even feel the sensation of love if they'll just disappear? Adriana. Maybe little things such as that are things that triggered my depression disorder. I feared death ever since, because I don't want to lose the ones I love to it. When Tomo shared to me that book, it is as if I'd been hiding in a cave of lies, and there he was, bringing me out to the outside light of truth. It was through meeting you and him that I've been set free. However, I understand far too well that this isn't enough to stop my disorder from hurting me from time and time again. Tomo and I knew this. That's why we agreed on pushing through with Viaggio Grande. I miss Marcello, of course, but after what you just read, I'm slowly able to walk on my own two feet, so to speak. I'd do anything to see Marcello and hold him again. I understand your sentiments, Adriana, but why do you need someone to read that part for you? I want someone who shares the same value of eternal love to convince me of that entry the same value of eternal love? I can tell very well that you love Tomogashi so much as you'd do anything just to be with him. Even with all the worries along your way, you'd fight your way through, even against yourself, just to be with him. Hey, Gianna. <laughs> You're too kind. Seeing the two of you together is what strengthens the love I have for my brother. This disorder of mine is the one thing that is getting between me and Marcelo's memory. Once the last of it doesn't show anymore, all I need to do now is wait for that eternal promise. You do understand that means changing your life course, right? I'm willing to do everything, give up everything even, for him. When my sickness grew and my condition worsened, I never touched my McLaren. It's not because I'm not feeling well. Rather, it's because it reminds me of that day. I may have been racing for all my life, but the heart was already lost. I guess I understand now why you're doing this, Adriana. Especially why you're pushing through with Biagio Grande. But there's one thing that concerns me. This awakening of yours. How is it related to all this? I have to admit, my awakening has a certain involvement in this. But the intentions of it, I can tell you that they're good. There's nothing wrong with what it desires. I can feel the connection of my awakening's wishes with that of what I read. She has a limited time with me, and I'm doing my best to make use of it. After all, when it's all over, she said she'll leave me in peace. One last thing I'd like to ask about that. What does your awakening want? <laughs> My lips are sealed. It's something confidential between me and her. I'll see you around then, Adriana. She's not related to this, yet she wants to be. She now has an idea of it, yet you speak not of it. Adriana, why? I don't want her to go through the worry knowing what would happen next once our part is over. So saying nothing despite her request, you wish to save her from anxiety? 
Yes. Adriana, you're one kind woman. I'm glad to have chosen you as my vessel, even if my time here is short. What drove your king to actually ruin this kingdom of yours and make it disappear? My kingdom thrived in the opposites of this world. The world around you today is the epitome of the cause of my kingdom's desertion. Desolated as it is, I've yet to know if anyone at all answered our pleas. If only they were more like you. And that's why we race like this, going beyond 300 kilometers where everyone else around us just disappears. Being in front of him, I want him to follow this line minus the mistakes it has. The more I'd pull away, the more he'd feel the need to catch up. Now constantly staying at 320 kilometers per hour. Normally, I'd feel nervous and panic. But why do I feel so calm? Is it because I can see her McLaren so stable? The torque feel of the F1 should be exponentially better than my R. Strangely enough, it's either her F1 was set this way, or I altered the CPU settings of the R so that it would match the F1. I can see why they chose the Z tune fenders on my R. Regardless of the material, be it dry carbon or standard FRP, what matters is the flow of air. If I put both my old R and this R setting side by side with the same engine spec, there's more places for the wind to pass due to the multiple bends of the car. Lowering its wind resistance giving me the impression of a different R, hastening its acceleration. But there's one thing that bothers me. must be what Ein's telling me. <laughs> <laughs> 